Yo, yo, what's good? What's good, people? It's your boy Kevin. We're behind the bench. Big shout out to everyone out there. Big shout out to the new subscribers that I can now page. Salute to y'all. Hope y'all blessed. Big shout out to the other gentlemen in the group. JB, Shad, check out their videos. Uh, shout out to Kobe Bryant Film Room. Check out his page. Sub up to him. And shout out to Big Dog Talk Sports. Check out his videos. Sub up to his page also. Both of these gentlemen do good work, good content. So check them out also. All right. So the announcement went out early that LeBron is going to sit out the game tonight when the Lakers play the Timberwolves. They said it's an ankle injury or ankle issue or whatever, soreness, which we know that's not true. It's slow management. And, you know, that's whatever. So everyone's under the suppression that two things. The Lakers just going to get blowed out because LeBron's not there. And then B, LeBron might be sitting out to try to show up the team and show that, hey, they can't win without him. And they get blowed out. Maybe the front office will trade people and all that type of stuff. I don't know. That might be true. But I'm just going to say this. I'm a, I got a different thought. Do not be surprised if this game is more competitive than you think. Okay, I'm not saying the Lakers are going to win because Minnesota has got the best record. And they've been playing well. But don't be surprised if it's more competitive with LeBron sitting out. The reason why I say that is because just watching the last few games, uh, in both games against the Knicks and the Bulls, in the second quarters of both of those games, when the Lakers have been down double digits and LeBron has gone to the bench and AD's been out there, the Lakers have looked better and they played better. And both times they made runs to get back in the game. But again, I'm not saying they're going to win. But do not be surprised if the game is more competitive. You know, because when LeBron is out there, I just got to keep it 100. He's being lazy on defense. He do a lot of cherry picking. He's doing a lot of standing around. He gets beat off a of dribble. Sometimes he doesn't box out. His man might get an offensive rebound. And so what is happening is the defense is having to scramble and cover for him when he gets beat and beat off a dribble. And so when they rotate to try to help to cover his man, it's leaving shooters open. They getting the wide open looks and they's knocking down threes. Last night, the guy Patrick Williams, they hit three three-pointers and hit a couple key threes last night. That was LeBron's guy. He was the quote unquote, the worst offensive guy on the Bulls team. He ended up with 15 points. And he hit a couple big threes in that game and big moments. When LeBron was being lazy, sagging off of him, not paying attention, and giving up open looks. So do not be surprised if this game is more competitive than you think. Also, you know, with other teams, they kind of let their guard down at times. Also, if a star player is sitting out, they tend to relax. Like, oh, okay, well, their best player, their second best player is not going to be there. We got this. And they're relaxed, you know, and kind of be like, we got the game in hand and the other team sneak up on them, and then next thing you know, in the fourth quarter, it's a tight game. And so, I'm just saying, the Lakers with AD have looked better at times. Now, AD's got this sore ankle. They said he's going to play. If I'm Darvin Ham, AD got to take 25 shots tonight. There is no excuse. Y'all on the losing streak. You got to go talk to AD. Hey, man, we need you. I need 25 shots out of you. I need you to dominate. We got to get off of this losing streak. And the guys got to rally around him. Other guys got to step up. D'Angelo Russell got to play better. Cam Reddish, sorry, has got to play better. Everybody got to play better with LeBron out. And don't be surprised if they do that. Role players at times tend to do that when it's a star player that's sitting out. They'll have a game and they'll step up in the guy's absence. So don't be shocked. The game is a lot closer. I'm not saying the Lakers going to win. Let me repeat that again. They could very well get blowed out. That could very well happen, but don't be surprised if it's a lot closer. And also, let me just say this, too, in closing. And this is really to uh, you guys that are hardcore LeBron fans. And let me just say this. You know, y'all always having these debates about LeBron and Joy, LeBron, Kobe, and Goat, and all this old type stuff. You, as a fan of this guy, 
you should be very disappointed in him tonight. The reason why I say this is because as a competitor, he should want to be out there and playing. The team is losing on a three-game losing streak. They're falling down the standings quick. Just as a competitor, he should want to be out there and play, be out there and playing to help his team get off this skid. And you see, when y'all have these debates about Jordan and stuff, and we talk about intangibles, heart, competitiveness, and stuff like that, y'all blow it off and be like, stats this, numbers this, stats that, awards this. It's not about that at times. It come down to situations like this. If you're a fan of LeBron, you should be very upset. If you're a Lakers fan, you should be very upset. And you had a guy that's supposed to be the leader of your team. He was out there playing last night in the fourth quarter, and they was down double digits. He got six to eight points in the fourth quarter. I don't know. But he was playing late in that game. He didn't seem like he was limping to me. I watched the game. I watched every second. Wasn't nothing wrong with LeBron. So as a competitor, you should be out there. And as a fan, you should be very, very disappointed. And this is the reason why we say when y'all have these debates, it's no comparison between the Jordan and Kobe. Those guys had a competitive spirit. There is no way in hell. Y'all Lakers fans, a long time Lakers fans, y'all know. And y'all know I'm not lying. There is no way in hell. The Lakers on a losing streak. And if Kobe can play, he would have been his ass would have been out there playing. He would have been pissed. He would have tried to been out there playing as hard as he can to end this losing streak. And for LeBron, you know, even if the medical staff say, hey, man, you need to woo, woo, woo. He should be like, no, man, I need to play. I got to play. We got to end this losing streak. We're falling down the standings. The Clippers are playing better. Everyone playing better. The Western Conference is competitive. I need to be out there playing. And this is what we're talking about. The competitive spirit of LeBron James. You know, it be lacking at times. And it's just a fact. I'm not trying to hate on dude, but. You know, it wasn't nothing wrong with him. There should not be no load management if you're losing. Now, if they was on a 10-game winning streak and they was at the top of the standings and maybe you want to take a night off or something, okay. But y'all have been playing like crap. Y'all on a losing streak, falling down the standings. The Clippers have won nine straight and have passed y'all ass up. And other teams have passed y'all ass up. Y'all are AC. There is no way you should be want to sit out the game tonight. That is lack of competitiveness, man. The competitive fight and spirit at times is not there with LeBron James. And y'all hardcore LeBron fans, you know I'm telling the truth. You should be upset at him, man. You should be disappointed. You should be angry. Your so-called king and leader of your team is sitting out when the team needs him the most. In the tough times. No way Kobe Bryant would be doing that. I watched Kobe his whole career. No way. I watched Michael Jordan. There is no way in hell. Y'all know that meme that be floating around on the internet? They talk about Michael Jordan from 1990 to 1998. And it, it goes something to the fact that during that time frame, the Bulls never lost more than two games in a row. Something to that effect. They never lost three in a row. That's because... Michael Jordan was competitive. He didn't like the taste of losing. He didn't want his team get used to losing. He was about winning. There's no way in hell if he could play, especially if he played last night and they lost, looked like crap, he would have been sitting out. There's no way. So I'm just keeping it 100, man. You LeBron fans, you Lakers fans also, you should be very, very frustrated and angry with LeBron James. There's nothing wrong with this dude. I watched the game. He was playing in the fourth quarter. He wasn't limping. He didn't do nothing. Nothing. Now, if AD sat out, I saw AD hurt his ankle. If he sat out, I'd be like, okay. But LeBron, wasn't nothing wrong with him. See, you can't quantify with stats and numbers that, that heart that's on the left side of your chest, your heart. And what's in between your ears, your mind, the toughness, the mental toughness. You can't quantify that with no stats. That's what we talk about with intangibles. 
the intangibles, the lack of intangibles that LeBron has at times. Tonight is a perfect example. This is exactly what we're talking about. Your team playing like trash. Why are you sitting out? Damn what your team and your doctor's talking about. Y'all need to end this losing streak. Y'all look like shit. But, you know, low management it is, man. That's it, man. That's all I wanted to say. I'll check y'all out after the game tonight, man. I'm out.